So this is the grandiose experiment, if you will. Uh, this is a 24-inch tall by 36-inch wide piece of paper coated with cyanotype solution. And just so you can see, there is a projection. Um, I don't know. This may take a couple days of exposure. We'll see. Um, but uh, expose this and come back and see what we got. Okay, so this was a nine hour exposure on a two foot by three foot cyanotype. Now this is a thin negative. This is not near as dense. The negative before that I've been doing all the tests on was a box speed negative, or you know, it was shot at, I believe it's 50 ISO, and that's what I shot it at. This is a very thin negative, so we're going to develop it in vinegar because I don't think that would have been enough development time to just do plain water, and we'll see what happens. Okay, this may, be, may go horribly wrong, but um, <laughs> the only way I know to do this is to put it in the sink, pour the vinegar on it, and try to maybe rock it around to get it um, better. So I'll just try pouring it on the... Let's see. Yeah, that's... It's not ideal, but I don't know what else to do. Maybe put the stopper in the sink and let the acid stay in the... There we go. This is not going to be perfect, but I don't know what else to do. And if you're wondering why this this picture, it's going to look kind of mushy. It's not going to have a lot of detail because this is a, I mean, this is a 35 millimeter negative blown up to two to a two by three foot image. So I don't care what you do. It's just not going to have a lot of detail with a 35 millimeter negative. By the way, the reason the wa that vinegar is turning blue it is converting the um, it's converting the rest of the solution that's washing off into prosaic acid so it's that's one weird thing about doing it with the vinegar okay I get a little more on here a little it's pretty much as I don't think I'm gonna get much out of it now. When I was doing my first experiments and did one this size, I was not using vinegar. I didn't even know you could use vinegar, so um, this is the first time I've done it. Okay, I'm gonna pull the stopper out and we're gonna try to rinse this the best we can. Uh, I love this wonderful smell of vinegar. Okay. This is not the ideal way to do this. I have, I need like super large trays or something. So we're gonna rinse it with plain old cold water. Best we can. Like I said, the negative was extremely thin. That's why two reasons this came out the way it did is a the negative was super thin which allowed a lot more light to pass through than say the uh, box speed negative and the other thing is that um, we used vinegar plain undiluted vinegar as our developer rather than plain old water so okay I think that's good, and I'm going to hang it up to dry, and we'll see what we got. Okay, this is the final print. This is a two foot by three foot cyanotype. It actually doesn't look terrible. Like I said, the detail is kind of missing because it's a 35 millimeter negative, and it's a 400 ISO um, film, so it's not the best 
fine grain anyway. It's not really a fine grain film. Um, it, like I said, it doesn't look bad, and considering it's a 35 millimeter negative, that's not too terrible. You can kind of see that there's some dust on it because that <laughs> transferred over when I projected it on the paper. Um, I was kind of surprised that it only took nine hours because when I was first messing around with this it took uh, the last time I tried to take a or, or make an enlargement that big it was I think it was two days it took me to expose it but two things one this is a thin negative which um, I'll show you here what I mean by that um, so this is the negative that we used for all the tests in the previous video. It's it's a box speed negative. It's it's a uh, it's medium density, if you will. Um, so it's blocking more light. It has more detail, but it's blocking more light. Well, this is the negative for this image that I did. Um, I just scan these in so it's going to show a lot of dust and junk on them. But this is the negative. It was shot, um, I think it was shot two stops lower than it was supposed to be so I could get it this light. But you'd see the difference. I mean, just shooting the negative or shooting the film at a lower speed or a higher speed, however, whichever way it goes, um, makes it less dense which allows more light to pass and that has a in, tremendous effect on how quickly you can expose it so that's something to note <laughs> something to keep in mind is the negative density on a 35 millimeter especially is going to determine that uh, or determine how fast it uh, exposes the other thing is it being developed in acid. I think those two things combined are what made it work so quickly and give it enough detail to actually function. So um, that is all of this bonus video. I will see you in the next one.